Okay, so we're here in the valley of Glen Xanax. So if you look behind me, you can see a nice uh, U-shaped valley. Um, so natural landform formed by the action of glaciers. That valley is, is going off towards the west. If we come all the way around and look in an easterly direction down towards the sea, you can see this kind of low-lying area. Uh, it looks quite foggy, quite flat. If I come round to a northerly direction, you can see there's a kind of a, just in the foreground here, a small grassy lump. So the flanks of that got sort of gravelly material on them. That's a bit, a bit different. And then if I come all the way round again to look to the south, um, you can see there's a little sort of fenced off sort of square area here. It's a bit odd. Uh, behind that, there's a, just behind that, a very small conical sort of mound, again with gravelly flanks. If you then look a bit further down into the valley, we can see, um, again, a kind of mound of gravelly rocky material with those sort of three grassy ridges going along it. Just to the right of that is where the, the people are walking. They're walking up this sort of grassy track, which looks pretty, pretty level and very straight. Further down the valley, we can see another sort of fenced off square with very dark brown, dark brown vegetation in it. It looks like a bit of a hole in it as well. And then just down towards the river, we can see again another fenced off area. Through the trees seems to be some kind of depression. So here in Glen Sanix, um, we're in an area where there was formerly mining activity. And so what we're going to do in today's exercise is construct a map by looking, looking out for and um, mapping and classifying the different types of anthropogenic landforms, so ways in which human activity, so in this case mining, have sculpted or shaped the land surface. 